we are asked to rationalize the denominators. Here we have the cube root of 5 28 The first step is to write the expression as an equivalent expression in the form of the cube root of 5 divided by the cube root of 28. And now from here, to rationalize the denominator, we need the radicand in the denominator to be a perfect cube so that it simplifies perfectly. To help us figure out what to multiply the numerator and denominator by, let's look at the prime factorization of 28. 28 is equal to four times seven, seven is prime, and four is equal to two times two, both of which are prime. Let's write the expression as the cube root of five divided by the cube root of two times two times seven. Now from here, because we need the radicand of the denominator to be a perfect cube, we would need to have three factors of two and three factors of seven. The idea here is if we have the cube root of three factors of two and three factors of seven, the radicand will be a perfect cube. Again, because we have two times two times two or two cubed, and seven times seven times seven, or seven cubed. This cube root will simplify perfectly to one factor of two and one factor of seven, which is equal to 14. And because the radicand in the denominator only has two factors of two and one factor of seven, we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by the cube root of one factor of two and two factors of seven. And of course, we must also multiply the numerator by the same cube root in order to have an equivalent expression. And now let's multiply. In the numerator, we have the cube root of five times two times seven times seven. Let's write that as two times five times seven times seven. In the denominator, we have the cube root of three factors of two and three factors of seven. And notice now the radicand in the denominator is a perfect cube, and therefore this will simplify perfectly. So simplifying, we have the cube root of two times five times seven times seven, which is 490. In the denominator, the cube root of two times two times two is equal to a factor of two, and the cube root of seven times seven times seven, or seven cubed, is equal to a factor of seven. The final simplified expression, or the expression with a rationalized denominator, is the cube root of 490 divided by 14. And again, we know the cube root of 490 does not simplify because here is the prime factorization and we don't have three of any factors. Looking at our second example, the first step is to write the fourth root of the fraction as the fourth root of five divided by the fourth root of 12. The next step is to look at the prime factorization of 12. 12 is equal to two times two times three. So let's write this as the fourth root of five divided by the fourth root of two times two times three. Now we need to determine what to multiply the numerator and denominator by to make the radicand in the denominator a perfect fourth root or a radicand that only has factors raised to the fourth power. So again, we should be thinking that if we have the fourth root of two times two times two times two times three times three times three times three. This will simplify perfectly and rationalize the denominator because we have two to the fourth here and three to the fourth here, and therefore this simplifies to one factor of two and one factor of three. Right now we only have two factors of two and one factor of three, which means you need to multiply by the fourth root of two factors of two and three factors of three and we must multiply the numerator and denominator by the same fourth root. Again, we need to have two more factors of two and three more factors of three, so that the radicand in the denominator is a perfect fourth root or only contains factors raised to the fourth power. And now multiplying in the numerator, we have the fourth root of a factor of five two factors of two and three factors of three. Let's write that as two times two times three times three times three times five. In the denominator, we now have the fourth root 
of four factors of two and four factors of three. In the numerator, we have the fourth root of two times two times three times three times three times five, which is equal to 540. So we have the fourth root of 540, which we know does not simplify because, because we don't have four equal factors here. And this is all divided by the fourth root of two to the fourth, which is equal to one factor of two, and the fourth root of three to the fourth, which is equal to one factor of three. And therefore the final expression simplifies to the fourth root of 540 divided by six. So this is the simplified expression, or we can say the expression with a rationalized denominator. I hope you found this helpful.